What now? I grunt over the phone as I unlock my car. Slipping into the driver's seat, I sigh when our newest recruit tells me there's been another break-in by the docks. And still no idea who it is? No, Captain. You don't have to call me Captain every time we talk, I tell Michael for the tenth time. Yes, Captain. I roll my eyes, but let it go. I remember what it was like starting from nothing in the DeSalvo crime family. In just over ten years, I went from lackey to foot soldier to capo, charged with maintaining my own territory and commanding my own tier of soldiers. Not only that, but the boss, Romeo, has trusted me enough to let me into the inner circle. What facility did they hit up this time? I ask, already frustrated that I'll have to make one last stop before going home for the night. Michael rattles off the address, and I hang up before pulling into New York City traffic. The drive to the docks isn't horrible. It's just annoying. For the last three days, my men have been reporting strange things going on around some of our properties. At first, it was petty complaints like missing snacks and lunches throughout the day. Then someone found a makeshift sleeping area in a rarely used storage closet, indicating we had a squatter. Usually, I'd let someone else handle the riffraff. This wouldn't be the first time a homeless person thought they found the perfect shelter. After scaring the shit out of them at gunpoint, the protocol is to set them up at one of our cheaper hotels for the night and send them off with an all-you-can-eat continental breakfast in the morning. Of course, we also let them know if we see them on our property again, we'll shoot first and ask questions later. So far, no one has come back. Everyone in the family is on high alert now. However, this situation needs a more delicate touch. While I'm nearly 100% certain it's another squatter, there's a small chance the Columbos, our rivals, are trying some shit again. We know war is on the horizon, which means every detail matters, including riffraff. I turn my headlights off before pulling into the alley leading to the warehouse in question. Parking in the shadows next to the building, I make sure I have my gun at my side and my knife secured to my ankle before stepping out and heading inside. I debate whether or not to turn on the lights and scare the shit out of whoever is trying to sneak around, but ultimately decide to go the stealthy route. Grabbing a flashlight from the bench inside the door, I proceed to walk around the perimeter of the open room, shining the light into all the little hiding spots where someone could be lurking. 